Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and very good morning, especially to our lecturer, Professor Dr. Rahir Muhammad Amin Muhammad Sum, uh, RT 40103, Precision Amin. Today, our group two uh, want to present our presentation. Uh, I would like to introduce our group members. Uh, me, I'm Matsa, as a group leader, and then uh, Diki Dukanai, uh, Muhammad Azazi Aziz, and Muhammad Awang Muhammad Zaid Awang Sahar. Our presentation uh, is a drone technology advanced in the use drones in precision farming. Okay, I like to uh, introduce uh, about the history of the drone. <coughs> in 1907, the world's first uh, quadcopter was created by inventor brothers Jacquis and Louis uh, Brakewood, working with controversial Nobel Prize winner Professor Charles uh, Richard. It is first applied, lifting just two feet off the ground, but it did innovate the uh, quadcopter for factor we have today. And then uh, in 1917, launched by only 16 years after, the Wright brothers, pioneering uh, Kitty Hawk flight, the Ruston Proctor aerial target become the first pilotless, pilot, pilotless uh, wing aircraft in history. It was radio controlled pilotless Airplane based on RC technology from the inventor Nikola Tesla. In 1919, the first large scale production purpose built drone uh, was the product of the regional Delhi, is served with the British Royal Flying Corps during World War I and after the war in 1919. In 19 201 f to 2020 uh, currently, and agricultural drone is an unmanned aerial vehicle used to help optimize agriculture operation, increase crop production, and monitor crop growth sensors and digital imaging capabilities can give farmers and rich richer picture of their field. Using an agricultural drone and gathering information from its main proof useful in improving crop yields and farm efficiency. Okay, over the past 15 years, 10 to 15 years, the high technology of uh, transformation of radio control models, hobbies of uh, airplanes, drones are integrated with variety of function. Okay. Uh, as we know, unmanned vehicle, aerial vehicle, uh, it's, a, it's a drone, uh, commonly known as a drone, are uh, regarded on the pilotless aircraft system used in diverse applications like industrial monitoring, photography, uh, battlefield surveillance, air ambulance, packaging, delivery, and many more. Okay, uh, why use drones and robots? Okay, the first one is integrated GIS mapping. It's a geolocation data captured by GPS system, thus forming appropriate production maps. The second one, increased yield. Improved productivity before the vegetation cycle starts. Drone technology can be used to assess soil, soil condition, and potential yields. The third one, save time, uh, reducing workloads. The fourth, ease of use. Uh, drone size is uh, very small and compact, easy to handle. And the fifth is the return of uh, investment. Agricultural drone technology has the potential to transform modern farming with high profits return. 
drone practice in agriculture. On the first photo, as we can see, a soil fuel analysis where drones can be instrument at the start of the crop cycle. They produce precise 3D mapping for easy soil analysis useful in planting seed, planting pattern. After planting, drone-driven soil analysis provide data of irrigation of nitrogen level management. On the second photo, as you can see on the planting, SAT uh, have a great drone planting system that achieve an uptake rate of 75% and decrease planting cost by 85%. This system should spot and seeds and planting nutrient into the soil, providing the plant of the nutrient necessary to sustain life for the crops. And uh, on the second photo, as we can see, the crop spray, okay, where the distant measure equipment, ultrasonic echoing and lasering such those used in the high light, the lights detection and range to adjust altitude and topography and geography and thus avoid pollution. Okay. Consequences, drone can be scanned the ground and spray the correct amount of liquid moduling distant the ground and spray in the real time for even coverage. On the crop monitoring, vast field fields and low efficiency in crop monitoring together create farming in large obstacle. Monitoring challenge are excredible by increasingly unpredictable weather condition, which give which drive risk and fuel maintains costly cost. Today, time series animation can be shown the practice development of crop and reveal production in 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 fish efficiency and ability better crop management in uh, irrigation drawn in high spectral sorry uh, multi spectral or thermal sensor can be identified with parts of field are dry or needed improvements additionally once the crop is growing drones allow the calculation of vegetation index which describe the re relevant uh, distance and health of the crop and show the heat signature amount of energy or heat of the crop image. On the health assessment on the last photos on, on, on the left, drone that have been employed to extract soil characteristic these include temperature, moist, slope, elevation, and more. This ability enable more accurate soil sampling and production of the more sustainable seeding preparation. Yeah, uh, UAVs in livestock farming. What is the possibility to further? Put table two in perspective. According to the National Development Agency of South Africa, there were over 13 million units of cattle, 30 million sheep, and 6.6 .6 million goats, and 1.6 million pigs bred in each province annually between up on to 2003. Livestock farming as with other aspects of agriculture can be monotonous and laborious 
Humans are, however, not well suited to such tasks over a prolonged period of time. Yeah. Machines, therefore, can find practically applications in this arm of agriculture, as they are designed to perform repeatable tasks faster and possibly more efficiently over a long period of time than a human can. UAV are therefore not exceptions and have found practical applications in livestock farming. UAV in livestock farming, drones in cattle farm. In livestock farming, drones can keep an eye on the cattle as it grazes on pasture, reducing the need for human workforce on horseback and trucks. Using thermal sensor technology, drones can find lost cattle, detect injured or sick animals, and calculate their exact numbers. Admittedly, drones are capable of doing a better cattle surveillance job than herding dogs. As you can see here in this picture, this is uh, using the thermal sensor and uh, this is the cattle and this is the aerial mastering they are example of drones this is used by our staff uh, department of military services Sabah. and then uh, we can use the drone to geofencing and virtual perimeter okay for drone also for your information drone also can crop to uh, be a crop surveillance uh, they, uh, they can do soil organic matter, denitrification uh, zone, nitrogen mineralization, and productivity soil. Okay, before we close our presentation, uh, we'd like to uh, highlight our finding of uh, current corruption. There is a large capacity of growth in the area of agricultural drones, which technology is constantly improving, imagine of the crops we will need to improve as well. Which the data that draws the code from the cops, the farmers able to analyze their cops and make educated decision on how to proceed given the accurate crop information. Software programs for analyzing and correcting crop production have the potential to grow in this market. Farmers will fly a drone over their cops, accurately identify an issue in a specific area and take the necessary action to correct the problem. This gives the power time to focus on the big picture of the production instead of spending time surveying the crops, their crops. Additional uses can include keeping track of livestock, surveying fence and monitoring for plant pathogens. Okay, thank you.